What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to enable advanced protection program for your Google account if you'd like to secure it a bit stronger. Usually this is designed for people like journalists, etc. But if your workspace requires it and you need to enable it, or you'd simply like to take extra control of your Google account and you have access to a U2F device such as a YubiKey or something like that, a physical device, which you will definitely need for this to provide physical proof that you are who you say you are in order to log into your Google account anywhere. It's extra protection for free. And of course, you'll find the FAQ linked in the description down below landing.google.com slash advanced protection slash FAQ. All of your questions should be answered here. I'll be enabling it from my account, so I'll head across to get started. You'll find some info about the advanced protection program and whether it's right for you. You'll also find info on what's needed to turn on advanced protection. As you can see, to turn it on, you'll need to add or update your recovery email and phone so you don't get locked out due to the program's powerful sign-in security. You'll also need to turn on signing in with two-step verification using physical security keys. We'll walk you through these steps. These physical security keys are, say, Yubi keys or newer smartphones, such as the Samsung smartphones with the Knox chip in it that allows you to use your phone as a U2F device. You can plug it into your PC or enable Bluetooth to tell your PC that you are who you say you are because you have a physical device, not just the password. Anyways, when you're ready, click get started and choose an account here if you have multiple. Then, as you can see, it's telling me to get security keys. You'll need at least two security keys, one of them for a backup. I'm pretty sure you can add even more than this and your security key will be used in addition to your password to sign into your account. You can use keys that you already own or buy new ones. There's a learn more button here. There's a bunch of different brands. You don't need to go with YubiKey. All you need to do is plug in your device here, click register security keys, enter your Google account password, and after signing in, we can register our keys here. So I'll add my main key. As you can see, combined USB and NFC key recommended. The NFC, so you can use it on your mobile as well. I'll add a main key. I'll plug it into my PC and click next here. Then you should be prompted by Windows or whatever your OS is. I'll hit OK, OK. And eventually I'll be asked to touch my security key to tell it which one is which. After touching it, it'll link to my account and I can simply give it a name here. I'll say YubiKey1. Then we can add a backup here. So I'll click this button, next. And I'll insert my other YubiKey now. I'll hit OK. OK. Then I'll touch my YubiKey and give it a name here. There we go. Then I'll simply click Next. And as you can see, you'll be signed out of all your devices, including this one to sign back in. You'll need your password and security key. Account recovery will take extra steps when you enable this. If you lose your security keys and access to your account, it'll take a few days to get back into your account. Then, non-Google apps are restricted, Apple's Mail, Calendar, and Contact apps, and Mozilla's Thunderbird will not continue to work with your accounts in advanced protection. Many other non-Google apps won't have access to your data. So, I'll go ahead and enroll here. Then, after clicking Enroll once more, we'll be signed up, and we'll need to sign back in. This includes all your devices. So, I'll enter my password, Next, and Confirm, and there we go. Next, and we're signed back in. Now that I've signed back in here, I'll also need to sign back in on my browser if it hasn't already, and of course, anywhere else you use it. Heading to the Security tab, you'll see the Advanced Protection Program is enrolled, and we can click on this if we'd like to unenroll here, and we'll have some common questions answered here as well. You can also see how they're safeguarding your account, as well as your security keys over here. If you have more, click Add Security Key, enter your password, add security key again, and this time it'll give us the pop-up. I'll go through the instructions once more, tap my security key, and give it a name. YubiKey Backup is this one. There we go. Now I have three YubiKeys linked to my account, and it's in the advanced protection mode. Also, your recovery options over here, it's a good idea to remove your phone number, so things like SIM swaps can't be performed on your account, especially now that we have the advanced protection program enabled. I'll hit bank, and there we go secured with just my recovery email. At this point, congratulations, you've now enabled it and your account should be protected with extra security. You can find more security tips here. And of course, scrolling down, you'll see where you're currently signed in. You'll once again need to sign into all of your devices and all of your browsers. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.